Professor has two light bulbs in his garage. When both are burned out, they are replaced. And the next day starts with two working light bulbs. Suppose that when both are working, one of the two will go out with probability 0.02. Each has probability 0.01, and we will ignore the possibility of losing two on the same day. However, when only one is there, it will burn out with probability 0.05. The first question is, what is the long run fraction of time that there is exactly one working light bulb? So before we start here, what we need is a transition matrix for this Markov chain. Now, this is typically denoted P, and I've already put it up on the board here. So I'm going to go through how I got each one of these, each one of these numbers in blue for this transition probability. Now, it comes straight from the question. It's not that difficult. I'm just going to quickly go through it, and then we can move on to this long-run fraction of time. So it's, the question says, when both, when both light bulbs are burned out, they are replaced, and the next day starts exactly with two working light bulbs. So if we look at this first row here, we're starting with zero, and then in the next day we're always going to end up with two, always. So if we have zero working light bulbs at the end of day one, at the beginning of day two we're always going to have two working light bulbs. So this is why we have this one right here. Now we know these rows need to add to one, so that means we have to have zero, zero for one and then zero for also zero in the second state. So that's for the first row. Now we'll move down to the second row as the question moves on, or the third row, excuse me. Suppose that when both are working, so we're starting out here with two working light bulbs. Suppose that when both are working, one of the two will go out with probability 0.02. So this is why we have here, we have 0.02, right? Because one of them is going to go out with probability 2%. Now note that it says... We ignore the possibility of losing two on the same day, so we have zero probability of losing both of them. And now since this row needs to add to one, the probability of none of them going out is 98%. So that's how we get 98, because 0.98 plus 0.02 equals one. Now if we continue to the, th the second row, if we're having one starting with uh, one working light bulb, there's 5% chance that we're going to lose one, so we'll we'll have zero at the end of that day. And there's a 95% chance that um, since no, no light bulbs are being replaced when we start with one, we're, n we're never going to end up with two. And that, again, this, this row needs to add to one, so we have 0.05 plus 0.95 equals one, so the likelihood of that not burning out is 95%. So now that we've found P, we need to see that we need, a, we need to ask a few questions to see if there even is a long run uh, distribution or, some, or it, it, to see if this chain converges to some kind of equilibrium. Now the two things we need to see is, is this chain irreducible and is it aperiodic? Now I've, I've gone over, a f I've, had, I've posted a few other videos explaining what irreducibility is and periodicity is, but we're going to go over it really quick again here. So all irreducibility means is if we call this set of states C, it's going to be irreducible if there's uh, states X and Y in the set C, then X communicates with Y. And we can see here that 0 goes to 2, which goes to 1, which goes to 0. So we'll give it a green check here. It is irreducible. Now, is it aperiodic? There's a theorem in any stochastic processes book that says if the probability of starting at a state and then going back to a state is greater than zero, then it's aperiodic. And that's all this definition means here. So we see that going from one to one is greater than zero and likely going from two to two is also greater than zero. So this is also aperiodic, which just means the greatest common divisor of all the periods of all the states is one. So we've got this check mark too. So this chain is irreducible and it is aperiodic. So there, therefore, there's another, there's another theorem that states if a chain is irreducible and aperiodic, then it converges to a long run distribution, which is exactly what we want. Now how we typically find that is we take some kind of probability vector pi, multiply it by our, by our transition matrix P, and it should equal itself. Now note that pi is some kind of one by three probability vector. Um, 
And I've, I've gone over also a few videos uh, explaining how to find long run distributions of Markov chain. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this here, but essentially we're just gonna set up a system of equations and then solve for X, Y, and Z. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it here. Um, we have zero X plus zero Y plus Z equals X, excuse me, this is backwards. Maybe I should brush up on my linear, linear algebra. But no, there's, a, there's, very good, there's very good videos on YouTube explaining how to solve system of, system of linear equations. I'm not gonna solve it on here because it takes a lot of time. You can plug it into your TI-89 calculator. There's online versions. You can program it if you want, however you wanna get that done. But I'm just gonna quickly write what this system of equations looks looks like plus 0.95 y plus 0.02 z equals y and then we've got x plus 0 y plus 0.98 z equals z and then just remember that since pi is a probability vector we're also going to have x plus y plus z equals 1. Um, now what, that, what this comes out to be, I'll write it here in blue. Like I said, I'm not gonna solve the system of equations because it takes a little bit too long, but we have one over 71, 20 over 71, and then 50 over 71. So I'll write this in red. This is pi of zero, this is pi of one, this is pi of two. So when the question asks, what is the long run fraction of time that there is exactly one working light bulb? What we want here is our pi of one, which is 20 over 71. Now moving on, what is the expected time between light bulb replacements? Now, since we've already found our stationary distribution um, here, this pi of x, what we want to find is the ex what is it? It's what is the expected time between light bulb replacements? So all that is is pretty much if we start at with no with no light bulbs, what's the expected time that we get back to um but the that we get to zero, excuse me. It's not starting at zero. What's the expected time that we get to zero in order to replace the light bulbs back to two? So what we're looking for here is E naught t naught, right? Does that make sense? So what's the, ex what's the expected time that we get to zero so we can then replace these light bulbs? Now, we already know what pi of zero is. So from, from this theorem here, we've got uh, the stationary distribution of the state x equals one over the, the expected time it takes to get back to x. So what this equals is one over pi of zero. Well, we've just calculated pi of zero. This is one over one over 71, which equals 71. So using this theorem, we know that it's the, ex the expected time it takes between light bulb replacements is gonna be 71 days. And that's the end of the problem.